Welcome back, everybody, to Get the Food Out of Here. I'm Freddie Rubino, my wife Christine. Hey, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. Please share this. Make sure it gets out. We will be back twice a month doing this. Unless Facebook restricts it, then once a month, so it gets out there. But you we, gotta share, guys, so it gets yeah. around. You gotta help us. Otherwise, you know, uh, we don't for me. Today, we are making a classic Italian dish that everybody should be able to make. It's called, Christine? Steak pizza. -o. Steak pizza. -o. Let's get started. It is steak that is put in tomato sauce and mix with some peppers and onions, okay? I'll get into it first. Let me just show you the three ingredients. Four ingredients, maybe four ingredients. First, a pepper. I like red pepper. It doesn't go. Why? Because you can't see it in the sauce. I don't it like doesn't that. matter, what, what do you mean you don't see it I in the sauce? I want to see it, I want it to look pretty. I want yellow and orange peppers and maybe some green so that you see it in the red sauce. You made me get red peppers and you can't see it in the sauce. That's right, I made you. And let me just say another thing. It's not a beauty pageant. It's steak pizza. Oh. You eat with your eyes. Oh, no, I don't. But you know what I do with other parts of my body? Nothing. Shut your mouth. That's what you could be doing with your body. Okay, look. See, I cut it into little strips. Okay? Do you like the little strips, honey? Very nice, bro. You see how I do that? Yeah. Now, this is going to cook in the sauce. So don't worry about it. Let me put this pan on over here. Okay. Now it's gonna cook in the sauce, these vegetables, and they're gonna make the sauce oh, so sweet. Now, it takes one pepper and one onion. But look at the size of the onion they sent me. What do you think about this? So I'm gonna make a half of a big onion. You know what I'm saying? Remember in school, What's half of a big onion? What? Your sister. <laughs> okay. But anyway. You have some trouble with that onion first? I am. I am. There's more than one way to peel an onion. Honey. Oh, here we go. Now, just cut it into strips. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, I told you before the other way is better. Why is the other way better? Because the slices come out nicer. Slicing nicer? Whoa, almost killed myself just now over oh, steak pizza. Oh, that would have been a shame. Shut your mouth. Now you cut these in half. You don't have to if you cut it the other way. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I, this is the way I do it. I know. I All know. right, there's no rules in the kitchen. That's the way you do it, and it's wrong. I'm the ruler in this kitchen. All right, we make the pan hot, and we add, we add some olive oil, just enough what do you call that, saute? Yeah. Look, that's it. That's good olive oil, too. So we gotta wait until that gets really hot. And then we're going to put these vegetables in and it's going to saute. Now you could double, triple this recipe. This is just with one steak. Right, this is a one steak deal. But uh, let me just say one thing. You don't need a lot of peppers and onions, okay? Let me just say that. Do you understand that, Christine? All right, Fred. Okay, now I'm gonna just put them in, and for five minutes, just braise them. Not braising them, you're sauteing them. Sauteing. You'd like to get a little color on them, maybe. They don't yes. gotta be cooked all the way through because they're gonna cook in the sauce. Exactly. And Try and get them in the pan. Yeah, not like Freddy. I'm gonna get them in. Okay. Boom. Okay, look at this. Look at these skills that I have. You can look. Make, yeah, you can make this in advance and you can freeze it. You can freeze this, right? Yep. Nice. Okay, what about putting a, a, a knife in the pan? I'm trying not to watch because I don't want to know. I, I bought that pan yesterday and you already ruined it. Hey, this pan wasn't born yesterday. Okay, now let me tell you something about steak pizza. Oil. Like many Italian dishes, it's a peasant dish for peasants, like my family, okay? 
So if you can see, this came with two steaks in it. And it was six fifty-five. dollars Italians couldn't buy beef when they came here to eat like a big shot with steak. Never. That's why we made meatballs with chopped meat or ground beef as they call it down south. And you, you stretched it. Right, honey? Yeah. So, we didn't have a, a steak dinner. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a little pasta in while we talk. Stir it. Okay? So, we didn't have, so what did we do? We bought the cheapest piece of meat. Right, honey? Yeah. That's what you used to call me, right, when we were dating? The cheapest piece of meat. Did you get on me's story? Okay. So the Irish used to have for St. Pat, they couldn't afford a good brisket, so they got the corned beef and they corned it and it was cheap. So this is cheap. So what kind of meat is this? It's a chuck steak. Boneless chuck steak. Okay? Mm -hmm. So boneless chuck steak, is that a tender steak? No, you can't just cook it, you gotta braise it. Can you just have like chuck steak as a steak? People no. are coming over? No. Why? It's too tough. It's too tough, right? You and there's all stuff inside of it. Got a lot of, like, what do you call that? Uh, tendons no, and no. grizzle. No. My nizzle. No. What do you mean, no? It, it's got stuff in it that breaks down and it makes the meat tender. I cartilage? Think, no, you're kind of like cartilage. Yeah. Do you know anything, Chris, about I, this I, dish? It's just like completely flat. You went blank? Mind. Yeah. Yeah, I wish you went blank when you went to Macy's. That's the time to go blank. Oh, what am I? Con what connect am I doing? Connective tissue. Connective tissue. It breaks it down, it melts, and it makes the meat tender yeah. because that all fades away. I so, think con connective tissue opened up for Black Sabbath one year. Yeah, all right. So this is why you have to cook this for like an hour and a half. Is that why? Yes. The preparation time is like five minutes, but then you just walk away and leave it for an hour and a half, and then you're going to have the most succulent meat you've ever had. Succulent meat! They open for Black Sabbath! Okay, so we get this horrible piece of meat, but we're having beef tonight! So Italians went, I'll make that tender. Oh yeah? I'll make that tender. So we got saran wrap. And we put it over the meat. And now we're gonna pound it like it owes us money. You just want it to be thinner so it cooks more quickly. Oh, this one, look at, look at. And it looks like it's a bigger steak, right? Yeah. I think that's good, no? Look, look how it. That's fine. Now you have to understand. If you go to a restaurant these days and have steak pizza ola, like all these other peasant dishes, they charge you an arm and a leg, right? Because they're giving you a, a nice steak, a ribeye or something, they're cooking it for two minutes and then just throwing all the sauce on it and the peppers. And that doesn't make sense. This makes the meat take on the flavor of the onions and the peppers because it's cooking for longer. It, does, exactly. it changes the flavor of the meat. If you're just going to throw sauce on a piece of meat, you're not going to get that flavor. That's right. And that's what they do. They get a beautiful steak, which is not steak pizza yola. Because this has like the consistency almost like what, pot roast? Like you know, stew meat. Like a stew meat. Don't make your beef stew or your meat loaf. Okay. If so. You tell one more dad joke. That's not a dad joke, a Christine. Joke. That's a construction joke. Then it's a bad joke. Shut your mouth. How about this a shut your mouth joke? Okay. No, Where's the knife I have? Okay. So, as you can see, what we're doing, you see it's got like the onions are starting to wilt. Yeah. Right? And then the, the peppers are not going to get, they're just going to get a little color. If you have a gas stove, they're going to get a nice, beautiful color. You can't get that with this stove. That, you could be right about that. That could be one thing you're right about. Okay, now, with this dish, I'm gonna change it here because this thing doesn't get hot, honey. No, I know that, That's, it, I hate this stove. You hate, you're, you're consumed with hate for this stove. Okay, we're gonna put this on, and now I'm gonna put this on 
And that on. All right, get the vegetables out of there and, and brown your steak. Things are happening over here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is to brown the steak. And this is what my wife told me to do. Always pat it down. Yes, you want to take the moisture off the meat because if there's moisture on the meat when you put it into the pan, it'll it's spit. Steam. And steam. Spit and steam. No spitting, just steam. Spit and steam. Okay, look. Look at the look at the moisture. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it over, do the same thing. Now you also yelled at me because you wanted it in two pieces because of this. Yeah. So put the put put it on there. You see that? When you pound it, that's what happens. It comes, it stretches a little bit. So you're better off just cutting it in two pieces. Okay. And it'll cook quicker like that. So now I took the vegetables out. You don't have to, but we're doing it because we need the room. So I'm gonna put this down, and I'm going to put this on high. All right, so we're gonna cut that, right? You can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Right, but we're gonna. I think it looks better when it's in two pieces. All right. right. So, like I said, for $6, you get maybe like two to three servings. So to me. Salt the meat. Don't salt the meat till you're just about to put it into the pan. Otherwise, it leaks out juice. Look at that. Look. I do both sides. You, why are you putting your hand in there? Use what? The My spoon. right hand. It doesn't matter. Use a little spoon. I hate that spoon. I hate this, uh, this salt shaker. I hate. I'm full of hate. It's not a salt shaker. Okay, look, look. You got to make it hot, the pan. And what we're just doing is giving it a little color. Just maybe a half a minute on each it, side. It caramelizes and it gives it a little more flavor. It does, right? Doesn't it give it a little more flavor? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. And you can also put garlic in this if you want to. When of you're frying the to. onions and the peppers. Okay, I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if we're going to have that. Let's see if any spaghetti is ready. Oh. Okay, I'm going to turn it. It's got to be charred. Look. Oh, look, a fork in my nice pan. Yeah, but look. Look at the color on that. You're going to actually taste that after this thing cooks. So now... Guys, well, could you please share this? Yeah, you guys got to share this. You guys got to help us out here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add... That's done. Some, what is this called? Tomato, tomato paste. paste. A tea tablespoon. That's it. In the pan. Hello. And then, we wanted the big can. They sent us two small cans. So you add two small cans. Or one regular size can. Or one regular can. size can. Crushed tomatoes. Yes. Show that. Crushed tomatoes. We're putting two of these cans in. I'll let you have one big one. This is a 15 ounce can. If you want, you can get the 28 ounce larger can. And you always add a little bit of water because that's how it works. Now add a little salt to that. Yes, now we're gonna salt it. First I'm gonna mix it up a little oh bit. Oh my God, what a mess. Honey, you're gonna get spillage. This we know. Holy cow, look at that go. You, you gotta turn that down, it's getting everywhere. I'm gonna turn it down. Oh, oh, my, oh my god. Look, 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 look. I can't, I just can't do it. It's a little sauce. Look, 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 look. Uh, uh, I know that? it's on the floor. Put your mouth, what's on the, you're gonna be on the floor soon. Okay, here we go. Could you put some salt in that pot? Please? Now we're gonna salt it. It gets about one teaspoon yeah. of salt. Just like that little spoon that's on the side. I hate this spoon. Okay, because it gets a little bland. Now, the vegetables go back in. Remember the vegetables. Look, it goes in. That's good. And we just made steak pizza. Simmer it at a low temperature so it's not bubbling and boiling. 
Okay, you see that? All of this is gonna cook. For an hour and a half. At least an hour and a half. If you have like two or three in here. No three. If you have two or three steaks in there, maybe two hours, okay? But look, you cover it and simmer it. We made one. You're really putting that on the cutting board, aren't you? I am, look at me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm gonna plate it. And I'm gonna do something that you might not understand yet, but you will in a second. Okay, so this has been cooking for an hour and a half only because there's only that one steak in there. Where are you? Come on, come on, baby. Now this steak looks a little small. Why? And don't listen to Freddie. Because you, I ate some of it already. Use colored peppers or you can't see them. No, don't listen to her. I need like a slotted spoon. Well, you should have got a splotted spoon. A splotted? Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, look, look, you can't see those peppers? You cannot see those peppers. But you know what? Look, those are the peppers. I don't give a crap. Hey! You can't see them. You need green or yellow or orange. I don't like green peppers. They give me agita. You give me agita. So what? Enough. Just put the spaghetti in. Mmm. Okay. That's steak pizza. But, can I tell you something? Are you really? Can I tell you something? <coughs> this sauce that it makes with the peppers and the onions the are meat. so sweet. The meat and the sauce takes on the flavor of the peppers and the onions. Let me do this before you make a mess. That you must add a little pasta as a side to this. Because the, this sauce. The sauce is so good. Oh my God. Where are you going? You have enough. There's still more. There's never enough. And there we have it. That's plated. We're doing well. Okay. 18 minutes. It's not 18 minutes. 18 minutes. Okay. This sauce. First of all, let me show you the steak pizza. We'll, we'll do this, right? Look, unless you could do that with the steak, now that's a tough steak. Look at that. It just... It's melting your mouth. Now with a pepper that I easily found. Wow. Wow. The sweetness of the onion. Look again. I'm going to cut it again. Look. The sweetness of the pepper. All the toughness is dissolved away. It'll melt in your mouth. Now, a $3 steak becomes one of the most delicious mouth-watering dishes. And like I said, don't waste that sauce. This sauce is so sweet. Mm. It's like you put sugar in the sauce. Now, some Italians do that. They'll throw onions in the sauce to make it sweet. But you can actually taste the pepper. Didn't you taste the pepper in the sauce? Yes. Mmm. Oh, my God. Let me tell you something. I could drink this sauce. Again, steak pizza aola. Honey, one more time. If you can't do that, if you can't cut it with a fork, it's not done yet. We literally cooked that one hour and a half, and it's not like you have to be over it. Put it no. low, put it low, walk away. Make a whole bunch, have it for dinner, and save the other half for another dinner. Can it be frozen? Yes, you could freeze it. There you go. Cook once, eat twice. This is one of the greatest Italian dishes because it brings, especially today, a lot of people are suffering. $3 a meal for a steak for each person? You can't beat that. 
And that's it. Make sure you make this. And make sure you use chuck steak. Right. It's chuck steak. If you could afford to do it with ribeye, make the ribeye as a steak. Don't smash all sauce on it. What's the matter with you people? Anyway, go to fredrubino.com. See where I'm performing next. I'm performing all over Florida and New Jersey and uh, parts beyond. I love you guys. Christine, do you love them? I certainly do. I am going to clean up this dish. Yeah, not the kitchen, though. No, that's your job. I catch the fish, you cook the... Love you guys. Fred Rubino here. See you around.